It's Monday, March 16th on the Fisherman Magazine, the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition. I'm Jim Hutchinson, and as you can tell behind me, I'm obviously not in New Jersey or Delaware this morning, but on Bourbon Street in New Orleans. Sneaked away for a couple of days of uh, adult fun and also a little bit of red fishing in the next couple of days down in Shell Beach, Louisiana. And this is usually a madhouse, but today the cleanup has begun and people are just kicking in and getting into gear for the day, which is what I hope you're doing as well as the fishing is getting a little bit more active. This was a perfect weekend to get, get away for us because we are in the middle of shows. No show for us this weekend, this past weekend, but coming up this week in Somerset, New Jersey, the granddaddy of them all, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is the Saltwater Fishing Expo in Somerset. That's at the Garden State Exhibit Center. It should be a killer show, and we look forward to seeing you out there. But there is some action going on in New Jersey back at home. We talked to uh, the folks at the Hook House in Tom's River, and Jared Goldie is the first guy to weigh in a winter flounder for the season, a one and three quarter pound fish that he caught on blood worms. The same location that everybody's been catching those early season striped bass. Go to thefisherman.com and get the reports on that. They'll tell you exactly where that Ocean County hotspot is. You can go to the Hook House. You can go to Lacey Marine. Go to Scott's Bait and Tackle. Uh, check in with the reports from Absecon Bay Sportsman in Absecon. All those reports tell you exactly where to go hook up with those striped bass. They're biting on plastics, light plastics, light colored, the pink zooms, also the finesse fish. You got to work them. You got to work them. You catch a lot of small fish, but there is action to be had. So make sure you try to get in on that and uh, have some fun with that. The party boats are getting out of Brielle. The Jamaica 2 and the Paramount, they've been fishing the mud hole wrecks and having some good action with cod. A lot of throwbacks, but some keepers in, mixed in there as well, as well as Ling and some Pollock as well. Hey, last week, you remember I was telling you about Captain Al Crudelli on the Bayhound. He was going to do some prospecting last week. Well, his first trip out was successful. The Lane boys got out and they got some cod, they got some Ling, and they got some good action. Found some uh, humpback whales too, which really treated them to a thrill. Big truck head behind me here. We're going to talk our way through it. I want to remind you that the trucks are going to be packing the Somerset show this weekend and loading a lot of tackle. See the boys from Shimano, see what's new with the Torium. It's going to be a busy weekend and things are going to get busier for us at the Fisherman as well. Don't forget, when you're a subscriber, you will get next week's printing of the April edition of the Fisherman Magazine, plus you will get 26 consecutive weeks of fishing reports delivered to your home. Come see us at the Saltwater Expo and sign up for that. You get yourself a free gift. I hear that John just found some pliers for folks if you want to hook up with some pliers. Come see us at the Saltwater Expo. Right now I've got to go to some French place. My wife wants to get some beignets or something. To be perfectly honest with you, the Zeppelis on the Ocean City Boardwalk are just as good. Next week, I'll see you again here on The Fisherman and thefisherman.com. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to The Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.